Let me move this to the floor because the lights are too reflective. Okay. This poster I had to work with because it was actually 22 by, no wait, it was 16 by 22. And it was hard for me to find a frame. So I got the frame for 18 by 24. And I, and I bought black, oat, um, what, like cardboard, black, like O-tag, if they call it. Um, um, I bought it at Walmart for like 70 cents. And I cut it, the O-tag, to fit into the frame. And it worked out perfectly. See what I mean? This was the lithograph that came with the Saturday um, fan experience Frank Miller, which I paid for $100. This came with it. And you see Klaus Jansen signed it, the anchor, and legendary Frank Miller signed it right there. Very fucking cool to have this. Very beautiful. Like I said, I love Frank, so it means a lot. Let me slide this baby over. Bam, the rest. Let's move on. Now, before I get to my favorite thing that I picked up, I'm going to go to some miss opportunities, and I'll tell you why I call them that. I brought this collection, this Batman collection of mine, which I have a lot of people, you know, I have Frank Miller there, I have Tim Sale, I even have Danny Elfman here, Todd McFarlane, just a ton of my, um, some of my favorite Batman artists and writers. And I wanted to get a lot more people signed on it at Toronto. I wanted to get Jason Fabok, I wanted to get uh, Tom Grummet. Uh, just a ton of people I wanted to get, and I just didn't have the time because I only had two days there, and there was so many people I wanted to meet and so many long lines, and I didn't have the chance to meet people who usually don't come to New York City where I'm from. So it was a missed opportunity. But hopefully in the future I can add more. Another missed opportunity. I had this Tim Sale page printed out from Dark Victory, my favorite page from it. And just like I said, I did not have time to meet him. So I couldn't get it signed, but hopefully he will be at New York Comic Con. The last missed opportunity, I got this printed out for Frank Miller to sign and wasn't able to do it. It was very limited to get the Frank Miller signatures. Actually, they only allowed one per person and I figured out a way to get more than one. And I wanted to get this done but there was a bit of an issue, which I thought was bullshit. And I'll tell you exactly what the issue was. The handler said I couldn't get this signed because um, it was something that I printed out. It wasn't originally from DC Comics. So that's why they didn't want Frank Miller to sign it. However, the previous day, Frank Miller signed this poster over there. I showed you guys, which I made, and that was fine. But on Sunday, it wasn't cool for Frank to sign this because it wasn't from DC Comics. I thought it was bullshit because someone on the line had a baseball getting signed by Frank Miller and DC Comics don't make baseballs, so why can't I make something too? I think they were just hating on me, dude, to be honest, because I thought of something, like, I think it's cool, right? So maybe they were just like, hating on me because I thought of, like, a good idea. So luckily, I had on me that Batman year one and I got that signed. So I missed the, so I missed an opportunity to get this signed, but maybe in the future I can meet Frank again. And I can get that done just because I love the artwork. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to lie to people saying this is real. Obviously, it's not the original um, page. It's not. If it was real, I would have it like in a fucking vault, in a fucking vault and shit, right? But I just love the artwork and I love pencils and I love inks. And that's what I want. So maybe next time. So now I'm going to move on to one of two of my favorite things here was when I met Mark Hamill. Here's me, my fiance, and, and my buddies when we met Mark. Fucking awesome guy. And what I love about this, if you look close, there is a Batman in between right there. See Batman? He's always watching over the Joker. So, I love that. Now let's move on to what I picked up, which I will cherish forever. Give me a second. I'm going to put this on the ground. Okay, it's fucking big. Gotta make some room. Okay. Got this big ass poster. Let me stand up. It's um, 24 by 36 from Arkham City, signed by Kevin Conroy and Mark fucking Hamill, dude. 
got both of them at the same con. And what I did was I had them write a quote from, um, you know, there were so many quotes from the Arkham games, but I thought about the Arkham Asylum trailer of what they said to each other, and I thought it was so perfect. So I have Conroy writing, it's over, Joker. It's over, Joker. And then the Joker says Mark Hamill, and he wrote it. He says, over. Why, my dear delusional dark knight, it hasn't even begun. And signed by Mark. Fucking awesome, right? And what was funny was when I asked Mark to sign it with the quote, he was kind of like, oh my God, that's a long fucking quote. But I was like, dude, uh, you know, I've been loving you forever and I did pay 200 and Mark was like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> so uh, he did it, which is really cool, right? Like Mark did this whole fucking thing. It took forever, but he did it. Very cool. It was Conroy. And this is just... A dream come true, man. I always dreamed of having something with Hamill and Conroy together. I finally got it. Um, I could have went with a Batman the Animated, um, Batman the Animated series artwork or something, but this was such a great poster, and I love the video game. So um, it's 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 just awesome. And I had Conroy do it in blue. I had Hamill do it in purple. You know, Batman's blue, Joker's purple, so. It just came out exactly how I envisioned it. And that's about it. What else can I say? I mean, I'm probably forgetting something, but this is it, man. This is such a great convention. It really was, man. It had such great people and great experiences. I wish it was on like for like a full week, but it's done now and I got some cool stuff. So I um, want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions about the Toronto Fan Expo, ask me. Um, just anything, man. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I got to go put all this shit up now. <laughs> it's going to take a long time. As you can see, I have a mess there. I'm reorganizing, but wow. I have nothing else to say. So, okay, guys. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.